Welcome back to Let the Quran Speak. Jesus, mentioned in other religious traditions, also popular within the Islamic tradition. We'll be looking at him now. Brother Shabir, Jesus is considered a prophet. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, of course, in, in the Islamic faith, a prophet is one of the highest aspirations uh, of a human being. In fact, it's not even an aspiration. It is something that God bestows uh, on an individual. So one doesn't aspire to become a prophet. One gets chosen by God to be a prophet. But mm -hmm. what I meant to say is that to be a prophet is one of the uh, highest designations highest stations a, you could reach. that a human being can can have. Mm -hmm. um, how did how did Jesus come about? How was he born? Uh, the Quran describes the occasion of his birth in two uh, separate chapters, in chapter three and also in chapter nineteen. And uh, in in both places, the uh, description there seem uh, seem seems to follow. Uh, along with uh, what is described in, in the Gospels, especially the Gospel according to Luke. In Luke's Gospel, we read about uh, the angel coming to Mary, giving her an annunciation, letting her know that she will have a, a child, and uh, she is surprised. Well, uh, similar elements are found in the Quran as well. The angel comes to announce to Mary that she will have a child, and she says, how can I have a child when no mortal has touched me? Mm -hmm. But the response given to her in uh, Surah 3 is that uh, God create what, creates whatever He wills, and when He decrees something, He only says to it be, and it, it, it is, it becomes. So the same notion of virginal conception is, exists within Islam, or is it something different? It is a common belief among Muslims that uh, Jesus was born of a virgin. Mm -hmm. And in that case, Muslims uh, share a very important concept regarding Jesus uh, with their Christian friends. We should be clear, however, uh, that the Quran does not specifically mention uh, in, in any clear statement that Jesus was born of a virgin. So we can say that it is an inference from the Quranic description uh, and also the, based on the knowledge that we have of the Christian Gospels, that one can say that the Quran is not denying the virginal conception okay. of Jesus. Now, Jesus was well known for some of the miracles he performed, and in particular, one miracle in particular was um, when he was born. He spoke, supposedly, or so the Quran seems to say. Yeah, the, the Quran indicates that Jesus will speak both uh, in the cradle and in, in adulthood. Mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, some of the commentators uh, mentioned that uh, this does not mean that he, while he was yet a baby, he said all of the things that are mentioned in the Quran okay. that, that he said. For example, in Surah 19, it is said that he said, uh, Abdullah, I am the servant of God. God has given me the scripture and made me a prophet. And has made me blessed wherever I shall be. Uh, and so on. So that's a lot of conversation for, for a baby. Mm -hmm. uh, some have taken the passage in this most literal sense and, and understood that Jesus spoke miraculously while he was still a baby. Uh, but in, in thinking of it this way, um, the, some of the classical commentators thought of the voice as being just simply projected from an object, and God can make the voice project from any object, uh, for example, from a fire or whatever, as in the case of Moses coming up to the burning bush, mm -hmm. and then he hears the voice. So for such classical scholars, the, the voice just simply projects from an object, any object. Whereas uh, now we know that the voice actually is a, a very complex production uh, that has a lot to do with uh, not, uh, the person's entire vocal mechanism uh, and, and also the brain that controls that uh, vocal mechanism. So if Jesus spoke as a child, then this would be something miraculous. And of course, this was um, thought quite easy uh, by the classical commentators. At the same time, we should uh, explain things in such a way that even somebody who is not inclined to believe in miraculous occurrences might see some reason and some uh, natural explanation for what uh, is being described in the Quran. So uh, we, we allow for a belief of a wide variety 
uh, of, of approaches. Individuals are many, many and varied and mm -hmm. subject to, to many different influences in life. Some people do not accept miracles very easily. So if there is something in our tradition that allows for that sort of expression of the Islamic faith, uh, we should be willing to explore that as well. What about the other miracles that he performed then? The ones in his, in his adulthood? Yes, some of these are in fact undeniably miracles. The Quran says that he healed the, the leper and cured the, the blind and uh, even raised the dead back to life. Mm -hmm. Now the Quran does not give the detailed descriptions of these uh, items uh, and, and often there is, a, there is an explanation uh, which uh, may be very natural once we come to understand the explanation itself. Uh, but the explanations are not given in the Quran and sometimes the things, uh, things are mentioned in such a brief manner that we just see the conclusion and the conclusion looks spectacular and sudden and, and highly miraculous but there may be an explanation which, show you, which would show you all the steps uh, that were taken in between. Returning for a moment if I may uh, to the question of Jesus speaking while he was uh, in, in, in the cradle. Uh, in one instance it says in Surah 19 that when Jesus' mother came with him uh, the people were s saying, how can we talk to one who was st uh, recently a child, Mankana Sabia, who was just a child. Um, so that does not mean that he is still a baby at the time when they were saying this. Uh, in, in, in saying that Jesus will speak while in the cradle and also in adulthood, now, no one uh, says that speaking in, an, in adulthood is uh, a miracle. So why did they think that speaking in, in the cradle was also was a miracle? Okay. Because both are mentioned in the same breath. He will speak to humankind in the cradle and in adulthood. It is very possible that Jesus, while still a child, uh, spoke more rapidly uh, or, or, or his speech developed more rapidly than uh, mo in, in the case of most children. And uh, we know sometimes that uh, a, a child with very ordinary physical uh, characteristics uh, may uh, be seen among his uh, compeers as a, as a genius in one area or another. So Jesus uh, was a genius in, in this area at least that people could see that he spoke very eloquently uh, for a child of his age. And so that too was a sign for them that this is not an ordinary child. All right, thank you for that. We will take a break. When we return, we will look at the message of Jesus as well as his death.